What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films. I am back with another video and today I'll be talking about the best vlog lenses for your Sony E-mount camera. It could be full frame, it could be APS-C. I'm gonna narrow it down to two best lenses when you're walking around like a tube doucher and you know, you gotta worry about getting everything in the scene, gotta worry about stabilization and things of that nature, as well as a lens or two just for a sit down video like this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it is extremely silly every time a new zoom lens comes out that is around the 20 millimeter range, you're talking about 16 to 28, 17 to 28, 16 to 35, whatever. And every tube doucher goes on, posts a video about how this is the perfect vlog lens. And quite frankly, those days, I really wonder if Jesus is coming back that day. Like, is the world ending? Because how dumb can you be to carry on pretty much a lens of this size to vlog? I don't care if you're on HGH steroids, Chinese ginseng, getting a Vietnamese happy ending massage every weekend, or whatever Peter Lingwin and Tai Chi Terry is on. I don't care. There's no way that you're going to have enough strength to be walking around with the camera, microphone, plus a lens of this size vlogging. I'm not going to lie to you. If I was walking around vlogging with a lens of size for, I don't know, as little as a minute, my arms would be more sore than when my dad beat my ass when I got a A- minus on my report card. With that said, let's get to this video. If you are a full frame piece of trash douchebag, I recommend the Sam Yang 18 millimeter F 2.8 prime lens for your trash Sony E-mount full frame camera. And it's very simple. It is light. It is small. It's 18 millimeters and it's F 2.8, which gives you enough cinematic filmic bokeh for your douchey vlog. And, uh, yeah, it's cheap. I think you could get it new for 300 bucks and used. You get it for 200 bucks or under. I got this one used and I don't really normally vlog like that. I just have it just in case I am doing stuff for my fishing channel and I am walking around. This is what I use if I was using my full frame camera, simply because it's lightweight, easy to use, and it's very good image quality. The only downside, of course, is that it is not weather sealed. And I've said in many other videos before, you know, if it's going to start raining, I will not be filming. I'll be whipping out a GoPro or something like that. And you should too, uh, unless you're made out of money or you're sponsored and you get free stuff like that, then it's different. The other downside is 18 millimeters is kind of strange. Uh, it's a little bit limiting in terms of what you could use it with. Obviously, you could use it if you're a wedding filmmaker and you want to reveal, you know, a ceremony location or reception event room 18 millimeters is plenty but then like if you shoot real estate or something that would be kind of tough because in my opinion shooting real estate you're gonna need at least 16 millimeter and 18 millimeters just a bit tight but you know if you're not doing real estate then this lens would be perfect in your bag um because it's cheap it's light and the image the quality of the image is really good um so yeah this is what i'd recommend for your full frame sony vlogging and if you're a poor piece of trash and you can't afford full frame and you need to do something with like APS-C, I would use a Sony 11 millimeter F 1.8 lens for your APS-C E-mount system. And the reason being is the same for reason as the Samyang 18 for full frame is because it is lightweight and it's relatively inexpensive. I mean, it is around $550 and yes, it is more expensive than $300 lens that's, you know, Sam Yang 18. But again, he did save money on buying a APS-C camera. So the extra cash should be okay with you, I hope. But overall, it is a well, a better built lens than the Sam Yang. And it is weather sealed. So you have that going for you. Um, it has some switches, things of that nature that the Sam Yang doesn't have. Um, but overall, if you are APS-C, I recommend using the 11 millimeter F1.8 Sony lens for your vlogging needs. Um, it is relatively, it's about a 16 millimeter equivalent um, when you factor in the crop factor of the FX30 or any other Sony APS-C sensor. So you're getting a 16 mil and you could actually use this lens. In my opinion, 
if you do real estate work or something that you need to capture video or photo, this, the 16 millimeter full frame equivalent uh, is perfect for you. I just want to quickly show how it looks like vlogging with these lenses when you're walking. So here I have the Samyang 18 millimeter in standard uh, stabilization walking with the FX30 in my tube doucher backyard. And then next I have the same setup 18 millimeter on the FX3 um, on the FX3 walking with active state turned on and it should be slightly more stable than standard. And then I have now the FX30 with the 11 millimeter F1.8 Sony lens in standard stabilization. And then now I have the FX30 with the Sony 11 millimeter F1.8 in active stable. And again, it should be more stable and it should be slightly wider. And then of course you could easily do your cinematic douchey B-rolls, getting that epic filmic cinematic sequences for your vlog with your 200 subscribers. So pay attention to the flaring, both lenses and both lenses, in my opinion, you know, handle these flares uh, from the sun really well. And uh, it shouldn't affect, you know, the image quality too much contrast and all that stuff. So they're very versatile overall for all types of B-roll needs. And then when you're doing like just tripod vlogs like this, where you, you know, set the tripod, you put the camera on it and you talk to it without walking around, I just recommend like a 24 mil. Uh, my top recommended 24 mil will be obviously the 24 millimeter F1.2 Master. And I completely understand some people are on welfare and, you know, getting food stamps and stuff like that. So with that, you know, I would just recommend something like a Samyang 24 F1.8 lens, uh, which is obviously cheaper. Um, I think this is one you could get for like 400 bucks or so. Uh, I'm actually using the Samyang VAF 24 millimeter T 1.9, which is essentially the same as this lens almost. I mean, there's pretty much no difference. So you have an understanding of what the Samyang 24 looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm using that right now. So, you know, that's what it's filming with. You see the autofocus performance, all that jazz, corner distortion, whatever it is you want to nitpick like Gerald Undone. Yep. So yeah, that is my vlog recommendations. And you're saying, well, Vu, these are all 24 mil. Like what if I want to zoom in or something like that? I would just recommend you carry another small, I don't know, 35 mil lens in your pocket. Um, Sam Yang has a 35 mil F1.8. That is very cheap. Um, you could even get the Sony FE 1.8 uh, 35 lens. It's, you know, it's more expensive. I think it's like around like 700 or 750 bucks or something. So if, you're, if you want something that is tighter, uh, just get a 35, maybe the 45 millimeter F1.8 Sam Yang, which is very tiny. And obviously it will fit in your pocket. And let me just give you an example of that. Like for walking around, traveling, um, you know, doing whatever, you have to carry a bunch of gear and stuff like that. It sucks. I always recommend just trying to get the smallest setup possible. That's why when I do my own like outdoor vlogs or whatever, I'm using the FX30 because FX30 allows me to use generally just smaller lenses than the full frame um, cameras. And so this would be like the 45 Sam Yang in terms of size and, you know, comparing it to 24 GM is tiny and it's a lot lighter. And of course it's cheap. I think it's like 200 bucks or something like that. So you could use 18 mil or something for vlogging and then you can slap on the uh, 45 to do like more cinematic, tighter type, you know, portraiture type shots. Um, and you get F1.8, you know, F1.8 is always better than 2.8, not just for like that bokeh quality, but just for low light situations, you know, if you're going around vlogging at nighttime, you want that F1.8 option. And then for, you know, obviously APS-C 30, 35 or 45 might be a little bit tight. That's when you just get a 24 millimeter full frame equivalent Sam Yang here, put it on your APS-C camera, and then you'll get a 35 millimeter look on your APS-C camera. And again, this lens is very light and small compared to even, you know, the G master lens and it's half the price. So there you have it. So there you have it. Those are my recommended vlog lenses for your walking around crap or your sit down or stand up tripod crap. That is what I recommend. Stop trying to walk around acting like you got big old guns and muscles and stuff. Walk around with these big ass lenses for, you know what I mean? What, what are you trying to be? Huh? It's called toxic masculinity. You ever heard of that? That's what all these weirdos, we call them that these days. If you don't show toxic masculinity, 
you will be, appear as a better human being, apparently. Again, this is what I'm hearing from some weirdos out there. I don't necessarily believe myself, but hey, it might be a benefit to you. You might seem like a nicer person, a better person overall. So I heard, you know? So yeah, stick with the smaller primes, cheaper stuff. Um, no need to go out there and buy, you know, the next great, latest and greatest zoom lens. And some of them are like F4, like, come on, F4 is trash. It is uh, unprofessional. So there you have that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it insightful. I hope it helped you make a purchase decision on my affiliate links below. Till next time, lighten up. Like literally, like this whole video was about lighting things up instead of carrying heavy stuff. But uh, yeah, peace out. Hey man, it time for you to sweat. Bro, for the hundredth time, I am not talking about this gender crap with you again. I'm a man, will forever be a man. I am not switching. No, man. I talk about you switch from Sony to Canon. I am a Sony shooter. I will never switch to Canon. Canon R8 just came out. It have 4K 60 ton but only $1,500. Bro, I already have 4K 60 10 bit. A7S3, FX3. But Canon color shine, it the bad. You need to at least do the conversion lot for your Sony track color. Again, I don't care about your color science bullcrap. Let me show you. Oh my god, it now a Canon camera. Dude, a label and a conversion lot doesn't make it a Canon camera. You need to get canceled, you switch phobic.